How much do you know about Panama? Let me introduce you to some related keywords about Panama. Let's get started. Panama, Carnival de Panama, a festival for the entire nation. You cannot talk about Panama without mentioning Panama Carnival. This period is even a public holiday, so everyone in Panama takes a break from their work to participate in the carnival. The carnival is one of the largest and the most spectacular festivals in Panama, held from the end of February to early March each year. The main scene changes every year, so it's always fun to watch. The dances, music, and parades are spectacular. Just thinking about it makes me so excited. There are large-scale parades, so make sure to visit and have a great time during festival period. Panama, Panama Canal, connecting the Pacific and the Atlantic Oceans. The Panama Canal plays a vital role between Atlantic and Pacific Ocean, doesn't it? The 82 kilometers long canal is significantly shortening the shipping time for cargo ships that choose to travel around to Africa, continent south, drawing a significant stroke in global transportation. Though the canal is over 100 years old and there are limits to the size of ships that can pass through, it was expanded on 2016 for more convenient transportation. It's also one of the uh, Panama's main sources of revenue, so it's very important in many ways. Moreover, even though it has been over 100 years since it opened, they say that canal has only been interrupted twice. Isn't that even more impressive? Panama. The canal facing difficulties due to drought. The Panama Canal is experiencing the worst drought in 100 years, causing difficulties for ship navigation. Yes, water is essential for canal operation, but the water level eats its lakes. Supply and water to Panama Canal has fallen to its lowest level due to lack of rainfall. Therefore, Panama Canal Authority has limited the cargo loads of large ships. But this problem isn't just about Panama Canal and its ships, doesn't it? That's right. If the shortage of the rainfall becomes long-term, it could lead restrictions on container ships passing through the Panama Canal, causing disruption in global supply chains and increasing logistics costs. If you think about it, the global logistics costs caused by the South Canal ship accident in 2021, it's easy to understand. The problem with the Panama Canal is a clear example of the impact of climate change. The Panama Canal is making efforts to cope with climate change through maintenance, improvements, and modernization plans. International cooperation and support are also essential for safe navigation along with Panama's efforts. Though the issue is raising due to climate changes in Panama, if it affects logistics, it becomes everyone's problem. So in South Korea too, we are cooperating to solve this problem, considering the Panama Canal's uh, central role in global marine logistics. Recently, Prime Minister Han Dok Su had a meeting with the President of Panama and expressed interest in participating in Panama's public projects. As can be seen from the influence of the Panama Canal, international problems are no longer just one country's problem. The whole world is interconnected and affected. I hope this video will provide an opportunity to sympathize with the issue in Panama and reflect on international matters together. Approaching 2030 Busan Expo, how about we focus on this issue on WAVE and explore solutions together?